An extended edit of today's video is available on my new Patreon channel at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny. Okay, on with the show. All right, welcome to part two of unboxing my Courtney doll and all of the cool stuff I got for her. If you haven't already, hop back and watch part one because I got this girl brand new from American Girl and we took her out of the box and opened her meat accessories and got her looking like this. And it's a fun video, so I would love it if you'd go back and watch it if you haven't already. But for now, I'm gonna show you the mix and match stuff I got with her and we'll put her in a new getup and see what we think. Actually, first up, I'm just gonna run through all the things that I got. So the very first thing that I knew I was gonna get when I got Courtney was these, I was gonna say Reeboks. They're not officially Reeboks, but these are definitely a version of Reeboks. These are very very 80s looking and I just I love these so much I actually haven't seen them in person so I kind of want to get them out of the box and look at them and oh my gosh the detail on these is insane oh my gosh look at the soles on these I've never seen the bottoms of these before but let me throw this box out of the way these are so cool looking and this I actually don't think these were that expensive either this definitely is a must-have if you get Courtney. These are so cool and she definitely <laughs> looks like she's going to be ready to do some step aerobics. But yeah, I'm definitely going to put these on her in this video because I am obsessed with these. They even have laces and everything too. This is, these are perfect. One of the other things I knew I was going to get were her sunglasses because if you remember in my last video, I was talking about like being super nervous about getting one that had asymmetrical eyes. And even though my doll's eyes are a little bit asymmetrical, I've decided that I'm going to keep her because chances are I'm gonna leave the sunglasses on her all the time anyway and she didn't look weird or anything you know American Girl dolls typically have an asymmetrical look to their face anyway so that's to be expected and so if I swapped her out for another one there's no guarantee that I would have gotten a better one so I'm happy with my Courtney for the most part even though I do think her wig is a little bit thin for my liking but once I got the headphones on her, it didn't look so bad. So yeah, I love my Courtney, so I'm keeping her. And anyway, these are the sunglasses that will probably stay on her, like I said, indefinitely. So uh, let's get them out of the packaging here. But these are super cool. They're obviously like the Wayfarer style sunglasses that were really popular in the, I was gonna say popular in the 80s, but they've, I think, remained popular all the way up through now. Like, I feel like these are such like, even like a 60s look, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a pair of sunglasses that basically look exactly like this, but they're tortoiseshell instead of pink. But I think these are going to look great on Courtney, so we'll put those on her today too. But yeah, I think these were only like $7. This was a steal. The other thing that I got that I knew I was going to get because I've actually had this before and returned it. This was one of the first things I actually purchased directly from American Girl, and that's her, they call it a belt bag, but it's a fanny pack. Uh, her belt bag and her swatch and again I don't think they've called it a swatch they just say belt bag and watch but this is a fanny pack and, <laughs> and a swatch I've actually had it before I purchased it when I got the 35th anniversary dolls because I got a few things thinking I would maybe dress them up and make them modern sometimes and I just ultimately ended up not doing that because for the most part I don't like swapping eras on dolls but I'm, I'm coming around on that and I'll tell you maybe more about that in a little bit but I ended up returning this because I wasn't using it, but now that I have Courtney, I want it again, so <laughs> I bought it again. And again, this is a really cool set. I especially love the swatch, but one of the reasons I got this as well is that I really like layering up dolls. Like I like when they have a lot of accessories and different layers on. So these I think would look great even if I keep Courtney in her meat outfit. These are something that I can add to it that aren't just, you know, something I'd have to swap out for something else. So this is a really cool piece too because it actually unzips and you can store things in there. Actually, I have her cassette tape somewhere. Hang on. This is perfect because I didn't know what to do with this because it's just like an empty case for the cassette tape that's in her Walkman, but I can put it right in here. That is so cool. So that's where that will stay. And again, this is going to look great on her. I probably will put this on today too, as well as the swatch that is basically my favorite color, the strap. I love that like lilac color. It's so pretty. The other thing I got is actually something else that I have already purchased before and returned, and that's her polka dot crop top. I love this piece. I think it's super cute. Even though I'm not a big fan of polka dots, I think the cut and everything of this is really great and I love it for Courtney. So I ended up buying it again because I've seen it in person already. I know it looks great on dolls and I definitely will have Courtney in this from time to time. So definitely glad I purchased this again now that I have Courtney. And the last thing from this order that I purchased was, I don't even know what this is called, Courtney's shirt and tie. So if you know me and you know how I like to dress dolls, I actually really like them in clothes that are typically more fitted. And 
what you would maybe describe as like masculine or boyish. I just, you know, because that's how I dress. So I like things that are a little bit closer in line with what I wear versus something that's like really frilly and has a ton of trims. So, you know, that's why I like Molly so much is she kind of has that kind of vibe to her outfits in her collection. So I really love things that are like shirts and pants and, and shorts and stuff like that. So I knew I would really like this. And I believe the tie comes off too. It, it seems like it's like a little bit too much of a look, but this is very 80s looking. It's very Saved by the Bell actually, which is kind of early 90s as well. But we're not gonna like get too far into like making criticisms about what's 80s and what's 90s and what was real and what's idealized. All that said, I think this is such a pretty shirt and I really like the pattern on it. And I think it's gonna look great with all the mix and match stuff. A couple of honorable mentions are that I actually have her denim set and I purchased this when it was new as well. This would have been and I guess mid 2021 when this was still available at American Girl. Actually, I might have had to buy these from the, actually, when, I don't even remember where I got these. Hang on, I gotta think. These showed up on the American Girl website a couple of Christmases ago, randomly, like on Christmas Eve, they dumped a bunch of these in the shop and I hadn't had a chance to purchase them yet. And I got two pairs of these. So I'm really glad I bought them when I did. And again, I got two of these jackets. Uh, I don't know where the other one is right now. I might have a random doll wearing it, but I have two of these jean jackets and this is probably my single favorite article of clothing that American Girl has made in recent years because Again, this is human quality denim. Like you could make human clothes out of this fabric and this acid wash again, it's super 80s and it fits really well. It just looks so cute on dolls. I love doll jackets and you know, I might end up purchasing more of these because I really like them. I, I have a, like I said, I have a second one and I really wanna kind of load the back up with like patches and pins for again, just for my like random dolls that I have that I like to, you know, change the clothes out regularly. I think it'd be really cool to like load this up with patches and pins. So I probably will do that on the other one and save this one for Courtney. But again, I highly recommend these if you can find them for a decent price on eBay or Mercari. They've been sold out on American Girl for a while now, but these are like staple separates in my American Girl clothing collection. They're just such high quality and they're so beautiful on the dolls. So yeah, I haven't completely decided what I'm putting her in yet. I'm gonna go ahead and take her Walkman off even though I plan on putting it back on her because like I said in the last video, her hair looks like a tiny bit flat to me for some reason. Again, I haven't had a chance to work with it and see if I can make it look a little bit nicer, but this kind of helps disguise that. So it's not as big of a deal to me when her Walkman's on. So I probably will put this back on her once her outfit is complete. And again, I'm gonna take this Lip Smackers thing off. I might actually ultimately put that back on too, because this is one of my favorite accessories from the, the meat accessory set. It's just, again, it's such a nostalgic piece for me because I actually used to have the Bonnie Bell like Lip Smackers chapstick in the 80s and 90s. This was so widely available. Like you would just get it like at the checkout at Kmart or whatever. So I had like all the like cola flavored ones and you know, just whatever, they, oh, watermelon, that was another one I really liked. So that's a really fun thing if you were a kid in the 80s or 90s. This is like definitely takes me back. God, this almost like fits around my neck. All right, actually the first thing I wanna take off are her shoes. These are really, really cool shoes. They look like they're made out of, they're probably vinyl, like a, um, a pleather material. Very, very well made. Such a cool thing to come with the doll like as default because they're such high quality. I love when you get a new doll that comes with an outfit that actually has high quality pieces and a lot of pieces. And I think they did a great job with Courtney as far as layering and everything. And these shoes were such a good addition to her meat, her meat outfit. But I am dying to get those Reeboks on her. And I really kind of wanted to see how they look with her meat outfit because the Reeboks are a little bit more iconic to me because I wore sneakers in the 80s. I, you know, I didn't wear anything like this. So let's get the Reeboks on her and see what we think. I'm gonna try doing this standing up while we're sitting here chatting, but there's an obvious left and right. So I'm gonna assume that I'm supposed to undo this Velcro here and that the laces, yeah, the laces are sewn in. So you don't have to worry about tying these tiny little shoelaces like you do on the Vintage Pleasant Company stuff. Like Molly's Oxfords are like, she and Addie have both like my, favorite shoe sets for like the Pleasant Company line and both Molly's Oxfords and that's such a weird thing to say like Molly's Oxfords and Addie's meat shoes like the first editions have those like really slippery thin laces and it takes me so long to get them tied even though I have developed methods to make it a little bit easier they just they are so finicky to tie because they're so little and slippery but the this is so much nicer to have 
the velcro on them these are so cool i'm actually surprised at how easy these are to put on again because i guess i'm so traumatized from doing all the vintage stuff where they were kind of still figuring out the easiest way to you know like a way for it to make it easier for children to put these on their feet and this is for the most part as i'm sitting here saying this i'm like struggling getting this on but these are so easy to put on i love that because I like dressing dolls, but I, you know, I don't love dressing dolls. So it's nice when you can get an outfit on them and it doesn't take you like a thousand hours just to get something up. Oh my God, these are so cool. I love these sneakers. They look very, very cool. And I have to say it is so impressive that they were able to do this much detail at this scale. And it doesn't look like she has clown shoes on. Like they were, I, I'm honestly stunned that these like look correct scale wise. Like these are amazing. I might actually buy a second pair for my other dolls because th these really are great. I am thoroughly impressed with this. Yeah, I have to say, I might keep Courtney displayed. Like, you know, sometimes I like to leave them in their complete original meat outfits, especially if I have a lot of historicals lined up together. But Courtney's going to kind of live to the side for a little while until I get moved into my next house and have like more of a permanent bigger display for all of my dolls because I definitely have some o overflow. But you know so but anyway for now like if i want to like change up her outfit like just subtly these are great i i don't think i can say enough good things about these shoes i highly highly recommend them and yeah like i said they look great with her meat outfit so you don't have to buy a bunch of extra stuff to enjoy these these look good just like this i think all right real quickly before getting her like completely i'm not even going to completely undress her i just want to pick a different top for her i kind of wanted to go ahead and get like the rest of her accessories on her while she had her meat outfit on because Again, I, a lot of times I tend to prefer displaying the historicals in their meat outfits. Just, I don't know why. I just, again, I guess it because it reminds me of the catalog and just having the original thing. And oh my God, this is so freaking cute. Like I, I yeah, again, these are $7. If they're still available at American Girl at the time of watching this and you don't have them, run and get them. They look so, so good on Courtney. And I would assume they look good on other dolls. I, yeah, I can't get over the details. I, I have to say, I like Courtney's collection, like even more than I like the actual doll. So it's worth having Courtney just to have all this, like all these accessories and clothes and stuff. She looks so cool. I can't get over it. Yeah, these sunglasses are definitely worthwhile. All right, I might as well go ahead and put her fanny pack on. Cause again, like I said, I was looking for things mainly that I could layer with her meat outfit and really kind of show off all of the extra details from this like 80s collection. I'm gonna have to adjust her um, the buckle on this so it fits. Oh, super easy. I have to say, I hope I didn't sound like bummed out about Courtney in the last video because I was being so critical of her hair, I feel like. But I have to say, now that I'm actually spending some extra time with her and putting these accessories on her, I am absolutely in love with this doll and her collection. This has really taken her to the next level I, this now i'm like so on board like i'm getting so amped about the prospect of ma like making a dollhouse room for her getting her bed i definitely want that arcade machine like i want everything for courtney now so i think as soon as i put these glasses on i feel like i'm officially hooked on courtney i i just i probably have said this a thousand times but i absolutely freaking love this doll now Oh my God, American Girl, you have really outdone yourself. Ah, mm. All right, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and put her swatch on because I, we'll see if I end up putting her jean jacket on. I probably will. And I'll probably have to take this off if I put the jacket on. So anyway, like I said, I wanna see all this layered with a meat outfit because this is likely how she will get displayed a majority of the time. Y'all look at this doll. All right, I didn't put her lip smackers on, but I'm gonna probably leave that off. No, actually, I'm gonna put it back on because I'm so jazzed right now. All right, we've got the Bonnie Bell back on. I guess they don't say Bonnie Bell on here, which is weird. It just says Lip Smacker, but I'm almost certain Lip Smacker was a Bonnie Bell tra trademark. I gotta say, her glasses keep popping off, but it's probably because I'm just like amped and like not putting them on correctly. <laughs> so they're like on all funky. Give me one second so I can get them on. Am I losing my voice from like talking so emphatically about Courtney? Who knew that I was going to be like the world's biggest Courtney fan? All right, let's go ahead and get these on. I mean, this girl is stacked with accessories. This is so cool. I don't know what side I'm supposed to put pink or teal. Let's do it this way. This doll's gonna be absolutely trashed when I'm done with her because she has so many accessories on and I'm being so ham-fisted right now. Let's wrap this around her arm a little bit so it kind of, 
There's so much going on. I don't want it to like detract from her outfit. I mean, have you ever seen something so extra in your life? I mean, this chick is more extra than Barbie extra and that's saying a lot. So I just, oh my God, this is so cool. It's just a reminder that at least to me, like one of the most amazing things about American Girl and one of the things I love the most is like it's their clothing and accessories because it's really where they go the extra mile. And I know some things have kind of dipped in quality over the years, but I just, it's so refreshing to know that this level of quality and attention to detail still exists for the brand. And I just, this is why I love American Girl more than any doll line ever. It's just like, where do you find this level of detail and quality these days? I mean, this is like, you know, I'm sure it exists in places where I'm not aware of, but as far as like major mainstream doll brands, I just, I don't think you can beat this quality. This is, again, I just, I feel like the world's biggest cheerleader for Courtney right now, but I'm just, I am really vibing with this doll right now with all these accessories and everything. This is so cool. So yeah, I think I managed to get everything stacked on her that I had that wasn't like an extra thing that needed to be swapped out. But since we're here, why don't we go ahead and swap her top, which is going to require me to take off like a thousand accessories again. But I don't mind. I'm enjoying this so much. I'll see if I can take off like the bare minimum. So this isn't like a 10 hour long video of me like fussing with buckles and Velcro and stuff. But this is actually something I don't love doing is like taking the original outfit off a doll from the factory, but I'm getting better about it. I know it's important to enjoy your dolls and just buying something and leaving it on the shelf in perpetuity is not like the best way to enjoy it. So I'm trying to be better. Oh, this looks cute too. I mean, my goodness, this is a little bit more like monochromatic now that we've got like this magenta and this lilac here. I mean, this look alone is really nice and it matches the swatch. I just, I really think that they planned ahead with this doll. I think they knew what they were doing and they had a really long roadmap of how this doll was going to really be all about mix and match play. And that's totally what I get from her. And Again, it's it's a way to really have fun with the doll if you're not somebody that like plays with them because I don't I do what you would technically call like playing with them. I don't like read to them or whatever. I you know so I personally the only enjoyment like I get out of like physically with the dolls is either rehabbing them. But like when I get new ones, there's no rehab to be done. So to be able to dress them up and like change their outfits and stuff is a way of kind of freshening up the display and seeing something different and. You know, you really don't have to buy like a ton of stuff for Courtney to like change up the look. So that's really great. Right, let's go ahead and get this out of the package. I have no idea how much battery power I have left, both on my camera and in me as a human. I've been filming videos for like two hours now. Again, super easy packaging. I love that this doesn't require taking like a million tags and things off. And the other good thing about it too, like I said in the last video, I love when you can take something out of the package, enjoy it very carefully for a little bit and put it back together and put it in the packaging and it looks almost new. I love that because it makes me feel a little less precious about things. It lets me feel like I can actually enjoy them. And this actually has real buttons. I figured this would be snaps or Velcro, but these are real functioning buttons. And this will probably take me like a couple of minutes to get off. Okay, these were a little tight, but not too bad. I have to say, sometimes it can be a little bit finicky because uh, at least as far as Pleasant Company goes, they had some smaller functioning buttons in this and they can be really difficult to use if you have adult sized hands, but not bad at all. And so yeah, this tie here just totally snaps off and you can have that as a separate piece for another outfit or leave it off entirely. That's really great because, you know, neckties are a little bit dorky, honestly. So I feel like not everybody would want to have this on the outfit, but would still love this shirt. So that's great that those come apart. So yeah, this was one of the first things I was really excited to get. Like I said, I like... I, I need to come up with another term for this. Maybe some of y'all can help me. I don't like calling things like boyish or whatever, like to gender things that shouldn't be gendered. Because again, like I'm obviously a big proponent of like dolls shouldn't be just for girls. So I, I need to find better language, you know, because even still, I don't like using words like more masculine and more feminine. But the, you know, one of these days I feel like we'll have more easy language for all this stuff. But all that's to say is I, anytime I like a doll has something that's like a little bit more similar to something that I would personally wear, I always like to get it because, you know, it, it's already hard enough to relate to dolls, um, you know, when they have lots of colors and, and dresses and things that I just wouldn't personally wear. So it's nice to like have outfits that I think that 
you know, I totally, like, in college, let's be honest, I would have worn a shirt like this in college. I'm not being too precious about her hair because I do think I'm going to have to go in and kind of clean it up a little bit. But how good does this look just, like, as an open shirt like this? Again, this is how I would wear a shirt sometimes, like, especially, like, in the summer. If you just need, like, one extra layer, like, putting just a short sleeve collared shirt over a t-shirt or something. So I think this looks really good. And there are just a million different ways that you can style Courtney with this mix and match collection, I really think I'm gonna get a vast majority of it because this is just, this is really fun. Like I feel like I haven't had this amount of fun with a doll in a while. And I think a lot of it has to do obviously with the nostalgia of all, like this 80s look and everything, but just the bright colors. And I just, I really think that they went all out with this doll and really had fun with her outfits and her entire collection. But yeah, I mean, I could just leave her just like this and that looks great. Another thing you could do too, probably, I, I know from experience already that the jean jackets are a little bit finicky to get on, but like you could button that up and then like take this jean jacket and like put that like over it. I think that would look really cute. That's really like rugged up and layered. So I probably won't stick with that. I really want to see what the polka dot top looks like on this as well. But I have to say, she looks like she's ready to go on like a, like a Hawaii's 80s vacation or something. I feel like if I took these tights off, which I don't know, I know I'm going to want to put these like right back on, but I think if you like took her tights back off and then like had bare legs at least sneakers this would look like she was ready for a vacation i'm just leaving these sunglasses on her because i gotta say like i hate like being super critical of brands and stuff so i always try and be like on the positive side but i still am struggling liking the new eyes that american girl has been using truthfully since they moved production to china because when they changed the eyelashes they changed a lot of things like the way the eyes are made. And even though they're not super different, I just feel like the original like Pleasant Company eyes, like Molly's and Kirsten's, the ones that are painted, they just look deeper. They look more lifelike and they sparkle more. I feel like the, when they made the changes in 1993, when it was still Pleasant Company and Pleasant Roland was in charge, I just, I think that they lost a lot of the life in the eyes around 1993. When, and I'm guessing they made changes to the eyes because they were trying to combat silver eye because dolls were getting silver eye from basically 1986 on up until about the year 2000. And I'm sure it was something that they, it just like plagued them and they were doing everything to fix it. But I really wish they would add some more dimension to these dolls irises because yeah, to me, American Girl eyes do tend to look a little flat to me because I'm used to the more dynamic looking ones from the 80s so yeah that's why most of my modern american girl dolls have sunglasses on like nikki and isabel like have their sunglasses on 24 7. all right let's take the crop top out and have a look at that i really want to see what that looks like with all the rest of this magenta if i can even find it where is it it's like an 80s war zone down here here it is all right so this is the crop top is that what they called it courtney's cropped pink polka dot top yeah oh another improvement i think american girls made too is in these coat hangers the coat hangers are so much more functional now than they used to be because like if you're familiar with like the ones that say American Girls collection on them that they had from, like I think they started making them in like 87 or 88. They don't function super well like you can't hang pants or anything anything like that on them but these I'm talking more about the hanger than the actual top but I love these hangers. I really want to go buy a ton of them because you can hang skirts and like probably not tights, but like skirts and pants and things can hang off that. Or if you have like a shawl or something that you need to drape over here, like a hair ribbon or something, you can do that. These are just so versatile. I think I might actually convert my entire doll wardrobe to these hangers because I think it just, I think I can pack a lot more in that smaller, like into a smaller space with these. So I really do love these hangers. All right, I'm going to take, I don't know why this is reminding me of Weekend at Bernie's. I think it's the sunglasses and this shirt. This shirt is like a little on the thin side, but I have to say it's not so thin that it feels cheap. It's sort of like thin in the way that it's helpful if you want to layer like five things. It's really nice to be able to put like three layers on a doll and not look like she's like stuffed like a potato. So yeah, I'm not mad about the thinness of this. There have been a couple things I've gotten from American Girl that I'm like, they should have used nicer fabric for this. But uh, as far as the quality of this, I'm totally happy with it. And like I said, I kind of prefer that it's on the thin side because it'll be easy to layer. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. All right. I kind of wanted to get this cropped up. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take some of these bracelets off first because I know people stacked bracelets like this in the 80s, but I feel like it's just, I don't know. I feel like I only want like a couple on her. I have to say, these are very hard to get off. This is one note that I have for them is I think these are too tight and they like... I feel like I'm putting a shine mark on her arm by trying to do this. Like, 
yeah, I'm I'm not really a fan of these. I might see if I can come up with something better that I like for for like a bracelet for her. But you know, there's so many details on here. You could probably just leave them off altogether, or maybe just put them on and leave them forever. But I don't know. These are super tight, and like I said, they scrape her or not her ankle, her wrist every time you try and take them off and I just feel like she's gonna have the most like messed up wrist after doing this. I feel like I'm gonna break these. All right. Yeah I feel like I just put a couple shine marks on her doing that. Not a fan of these. I think I might not even put them back on her once they come off. So I might just leave these two on because they'll probably kind of go with everything with the pink and black. So I think these will look cute with a polka dot top. I kind of want to go for like a monochromatic look. So let's get the crop top on her and see what she looks like in pink and purple. Again, we have to kind of do the like Resident Evil neck snap to try and keep these curls out of the Velcro. I mean, like I said, I, I've done a decent job of trying to keep these curls intact, but I'm probably going to have to go back in and clean this up once I kind of get her in her final outfit. But yeah, I, I'm i kind of tempted to crimp her hair, her hair, like I won't lie. So yeah, this looks so cool. I really, again, I think I chose really well in terms of picking like which specific pieces because I didn't buy a ton of stuff but I feel like I have a really uh, a good palette to work with to make some really interesting 80s looks for Courtney and the other dolls that I might get to make them into 80s dolls but this is sort of like a monochromatic look again with her scrunchy glasses like this is all pink basically I mean with the exception of a couple things but again I think this looks really good and I, I can just see that there's like a million different ideas as far as like making a, like a bunch of different looks for this doll I, this adds so much play value even if you're an adult that only displays dolls it's really cool to be able to change this up i would love to be able to put her jacket on but truth be told i'm gonna have to make the call whether or not i want to take these bracelets off because i'm not gonna be able to get the jacket on while these bracelets are on it, the cuff won't slide over this at some point I might, but I'm just, I'm putting shine marks on her by taking these bracelets off. So I need to be sure I want to take the bracelets off before putting the jacket on, but I'll grab it really quick just so you can have a quick look, roughly what it would look like. But, you know, again, that would also be so cute. I just, this is such a cool line. I feel like I'm repeating myself a million times over, but I'm just absolutely in love with Courtney and her collection. All right, so I'm about out of battery power, so it's probably time for me to cut this video off, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really love being able to talk to you while I do this stuff because, you know, I don't have friends in real life that appreciate dolls to the level that all of you do, so it's really great to be able to share this with somebody who totally gets it. Don't forget, if you want to see an extended version of this video and many other videos on my YouTube channel, channel, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny. There are a lot of other fun perks there too, like shop discounts and early access to my doll shop, which you can find at johnnysdollshop.com. If you want even more doll content, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at idreamofjohnny. And until next time, please take care of yourself and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.